hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys I'm going to guide you how you can make a dual boot using Windows 11 and Ubuntu together so if you want to keep both operating system here so I will show you step by step how you can make it so watch this video carefully first of all guys we need to make a unallocated space on our Windows PC so in order to make an unallocated space from our PC we need to open the disk management once you search your disk click on create partition or hard drive disk or even right click here and simply open the disk management from here so once you open the disk management from here you need to right click here on the C drive and you need to shrink the volume give at least 30 GB to the Ubuntu I'm going to give it to the at least 70 GB so I'm going to type here 70,000 70,000 then click on shrink now I have 68 GB unallocated space here you need to create the same one here now insert your pen drive into your Windows PC and then open the Google Drive or whichever you use and on the search you need to type here Ubuntu ISO download Now go to Ubuntu desktop. This is the official site. Now here this is the LTS version. So this is the system requirement as you can see here. So click on here the download option. and Ubuntu LTS 24.0.4.2 is going to install it will take around some time now second software you need to have is Rufus just search here Rufus download go to first option close the advertisement now the ISO file has been downloaded successfully guys of Ubuntu and Rufus is already downloaded let me close this now just insert your pen drive now so let me insert my pen drive and then I can so let me I have inserted my pen drive as you can see now I can run it now run it after you inserted the pen drive as you can see here it has taken my pen drive so let's click on select here and select Ubuntu then click on OK now leave everything as default the file system MBR whatever it is showing up here that is recommended to leave it as everything default then click on start click on OK all the data will be lost from your pen drive so make sure you back up your data otherwise it will be lost I hope you know this process so click on OK now this is a process of making your USB to bootable pen drive of Ubuntu 
so it will take some time you need to wait here for some time now you can see guys Ubuntu ISO file and bootable has been done now we need to close this and let's verify that now you can see here so you can eject it or leave it on the system so I'm going to leave it in the system since I want to make a dual boot on the system so let me make a video from my phone so before that just click on here and we need to disable the secure boot as I have shown you open here this option system then go to the option which says recovery and simply you need to click on this option so advanced startup option I'm not getting here if you are getting here advanced startup just restart your windows and it will go to the restart option apart from that you just need to hold your shift key and then click on here let me show you with the phone okay so this is my windows 11 laptop guys so I need to hold the shift key here and then I need to restart the system shift key and then click on restart here now click on restart option here and keep holding the shift key like this keep holding it until you see the advanced recovery options pen drive is also there you can see over there now you can release the shift key now once you see the please wait now you will see options like this you need to click on troubleshoot advanced options and restart your system UEFI firmware setting then click on restart now go to security option here secure boot okay secure boot is here and disable it if it is enabled disable it and save it then click on exit and I'm pressing here the bootable key directly F12 key is the bootable key but let me show you over there as well how you can go to another options again hold the shift key and click on the same option restart keep holding the shift key now this time choose this option USB device and choose your USB storage this option this option send disk I have selected my USB and that is send disk now you can see options like this guys so you need to click on the first option which says try or install Ubuntu just press the enter key and once you press the enter key wait here now you will see Ubuntu is loading up now you will see preparing Ubuntu just wait here now guys select your language here I am selecting English and then click on next accessibility just click on next English US this is the keyboard language so I am selecting US next do not connect to internet right now so that's up to you you can connect with the Wi-Fi or even you can choose the option do not connect to internet so let's connect with the internet so I have connected with the internet then click on next option and you can see the option update for installer just skip this option for now install Ubuntu just click on that option first option interactive installation let's click on next default selection is recommended just click on next install third party software and hardware also tick this option okay and let's wait here now now here you can see the options here 
just you need to select the first option install ubuntu alongside windows boot manager so this is the option which you wanted do not tick this option it will erase all the data from your windows as well so click on first option then click on next and create your account username required password to login let's create the password username is i'm selecting dell username is dell password is also dell confirm it okay then click on next now you can select your reason here so i'm selecting here this my reason time zone let's click on install now we need to wait here for some time guys until it's completed so after waiting for almost 15 to 20 minutes i am getting to ready it now click on restart and you will see install and ready to use just restart it you can remove the installation media now i have removed it press the enter key once you remove it select the ubuntu password is also same so you can see guys we have successfully installed the ubuntu here and let me show you how you can use the windows after that If you want to use the windows, you need to press F12 key again, the bootable key and you need to select here the windows operating system here. As you can see here, windows boot load here. Windows boot manager. And you can see you can also log in into the Windows system. As you can see, all the data is as it is here, which I have already downloaded that. So this is how guys you can use the Windows 11 as well as the Ubuntu on your one machine and we have successfully made a dual boot on our system. So I hope you have also made a same way. So I hope guys this video helps you. If yes then hit like subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching how to fix tech.